contains harmful substances and microorganisms that can cause risk to our health and agricultural productivity. So, water quality is vital for both the most domestic purposes and agricultural. Thus, ensuring nation's food security through science, technology and innovation STI is related to water quality. So, you mean that we need clean water to get sufficient safe and nutritious food, right? Yes, you are absolutely right. Wait, you must be wondering, what is food security, right? Let's dig into it. Based on the 1969 World Food Summit, food security is defined as when all people at all times have physical and economic access to sufficient safe and nutritious food that meets their dietary needs and food preference for an active and healthy life. Hello, my name is Zain. My name is and I am Water is the basic necessity for the functioning of all living things. Our body themselves contain 60% of water. Thus, we cannot live without it. To get a sufficient amount of water, a person needs to drink about 35 ml per kilogram of body weight. For example, this is his home. He weighs 65 kg. So, he needs to drink about 2.3 liters of 8 cups of water. We must consume clean water for a healthier lifestyle. One way to get clean water is by using water filter. Let's see some example of water filter used nowadays. One of the example is activated carbon filter. Activated carbon filter or activated charcoal filter work through a chemical process called adsorption, which is the addition or attachment of atoms ions or molecule from a liquid or gas onto the surface of a solid material. Activated carbon is a highly porous form of carbon that has large surface area which provides numerous sites for absorption. Organic compounds such as pesticides, herbicides, solvent and volatile organic compounds are attracted onto the surface of carbon and iron to it, effectively removing them from the water. Now, I want to talk about UV rays that have been used in water filtration, which applies physics concept. UV light water filters operate based on the principle of electromagnetic radiation and the interaction between UV light with organisms. This filter uses the shortest wavelength and the most dangerous type of UV radiation, which is 200 to 218 nanometers. In this water filter, UV radiation is used for stimulating the growth or action of microorganisms by damaging genetic material, which is DNA or RNA, and kills harmful bacteria, viruses, and other microorganisms. As a result, the water will be disinfected. Furthermore, there are also some water filtration systems that applies biological concept, which is reverse osmosis. What is reverse osmosis? Well, reverse osmosis is a water filtration technology that uses a semi-permeable membrane to remove a wide range of impurities from the water. Now, you must be wondering, how does this work? Well, let me explain. Well, the semi-permeable membrane is this extremely tiny pores which only allows water molecules to pass through while rejecting a wide range of impurities including nasal salts, minerals, heavy metals, viruses, bacteria and so much more. So how does this happen? Well, these impurities are typically larger in size or have different properties than water which prevents them from passing through the membrane. So to conclude, when water is pressurized and forced to the membrane, it effectively removes impurities from the water. All in all, we all know that clean water is essential for providing optimally nutritious and safe food.